let's walk through how to aim shots in NHL 23. Uh, first thing we want to do is when we're skating forward, uh, simply to fire a wrist shot. We're going to take the right analog stick and flick it forward. But to aim, we're going to use the left analog stick. In this case, I want to aim for the top left corner of the net to try to beat him uh, there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the left analog stick and aim for the top left hand corner of the net as I flick the right analog stick forward. And everything goes right there for a goal. Holding on to the speed boost while shooting will negatively affect our shot. Here we don't let go of the speed boost and we get a badly aimed shot for a big miss. Another thing that will affect our shot is a player's stats. Okay, so well, when we come in skating, what we don't want to do is hang on to the speed boost. So we've got the speed boost or L3 held down right now. What we're going to do is we're going to let go of it about right here. Okay, and then what we're going to do is take the right analog stick and flick it up as a wrist shot. And then we're going to take the left analog stick to aim, in this case, top left corner, because we're skating across. And we're able to control it much better because we let go of the speed boost and we get a nice goal there. If we choose to take a slap shot instead of a wrist shot, we're going to have a lot more power. But the trade-off is, while this is really good for getting by goalies, it also means less accuracy when we want to control the thing when we're aiming. When we're attempting a slap shot, what we don't want to do is keep skating. We want to try to keep our players stationary, or we might overskate the puck like we do right there. Now that we've got our player in under control and we found a lane to shoot from, we're going to set our feet. We're going to do a slap shot. We're going to take the right analog stick. We're going to hold it back, okay? And as we're holding it back, we're going to take the left analog stick and aim. In this case, we're going to be aiming for the top right corner. So we're going to left analog stick aiming to the top right. And then we simply flick the right analog stick back and fire it forward. And if everything goes right, we'll get a nice goal like this one right here. Very hard to stop with that extra power. When we take the right analog stick and hold it back, we can hold it back for as long as we want. Now, of course, if someone's coming at us, that could be a problem. But in this case, we're just shooting wide open. We can use that left analog stick to probe for good spots to aim. We find a spot right here. We push the right analog stick forward. We fire. One final trick here, and that is we can actually fake a slap shot. That's right. We can hold it for as long as we want or as short as we want. And then instead of flicking the right analog stick forward, what we'll simply do is just let go. And sometimes we can fake out the goalie or buy us some extra time and then parlay that with a wrist shot.